Hi, Jeff here. You having a great day? I'm having a terrific day. Young girl with a yellow hair, come. I've heard many stories. Well, at least I was having a terrific day. It seems to be getting progressively worse week by week. Um, this week I found a video of a mum. <sighs> I found a video of a mermaid that is supposedly in a church. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that this is clickbait because I was under the impression that mermaids didn't exist. I don't know if I hope if this is clickbait or it's not clickbait because at this point I honestly don't know what's going on anymore. It's was it was jelly juice. Then it was if your man beats you, he loves you. A couple of w w videos where people were doing crazy things, where which became a series. Now, it's this. Oh, don't forget, we also had that lady who was too attractive to find love. Now we have a mermaid. I'm also going to go ahead and assume that this is a black church somewhere in South Africa because it's, it, has, it, fits, it fits the description. You see, don't know what one with, the, with, with, with people in, in, in the world, not just in South Africa. In the world, what's going on? What is actually going on? This video is also number eight on trending. Young girl with a yellow hair, come. I've heard many stories, but open it, open it is your hair. Open it. Hey. That's how it is. Don't be jealous. I'm not. Of Zion. Is there anybody who wants yellow hair? No. Oh, beautiful but God is saying to me your hair is a code your hair is a spiritual code that's why you do not keep black hair on your head is that correct that's true before this hair you had red on your head is that true that's true so you move from red to yellow, to yellow. from yellow to pink somebody is getting extreme so having pink yellow and red hair makes her a mermaid um maybe she just likes those colors i'm not a doctor or anything i'm not a pastor i'm not a doctor i have no title i'm just jeff and i can tell you right now that that doesn't mean she's a mermaid that just means she likes that hair. How did he make those those two things? How, and why is no one in the church going, hey man, how, how, no. Okay, I'm gonna go back to what I said earlier. This isn't a South African church, but it's clearly an African church. So I wasn't far off. What I'm seeing that I wanna help you with, your hair is beautiful. Thank you, Pastor. Very beautiful. Thank you. I am ha I'm seeing the, the hair you had before. The red hair was a killer. It was beautiful. But you see, I got to help you out of this. Because you see, your spirit is bound. As I'm looking at you, you are a mermaid. You keep on dreaming you are in the water. Is that true? It's true. When is the last time you dream yourself in the water? Yesterday. Last night? Yes. Did you tell anybody about that? No, I didn't. You didn't? No. Tell me, do you keep black hair on your head? No, I don't. You don't? No. Your hair is always In bright color. colors. Yes. Is that true? Don't you know anything, or this pastor, know anything about hair, water, dreams, colors? And just life and just the world because if he did he would not be making such outrageous statements you're a mermaid because you like bright colors what 
excuse me. So then I live, I know a lot of moments then. Because there's a lot of girls that I know that have hair that's bright colors. Never, that thought has never even crossed my mind at their moments. And on mermaids, like those fictional thingies, then that, that, that wasn't very intelligent, but aren't they those things that we put in children's books to make them believe in fairy tales and stuff? Why is this pasta talking to grown people about mermaids and why are they believing him? This is, this is so easy. This is not even difficult. As soon as he said mermaid, everyone in that church should have got up and walked out. So if mermaid spirit in you, in 20 years alive, um, never thought I'd hear the, the two words mermaid and spirit as, as a phrase. You have a mermaid spirit inside of you. Who was a ritualist. He was operating with a marine spirit. And with that marine spirit, before he died, he had... I thought it was a mermaid spirit. Now it's a marine spirit. A ritualist. He was operating with a marine spirit. And with that marine spirit, before he died, he had to pass it to the last bone of his last bone. And I'm also a last bone pastor. Because it is you I'm talking about. <laughs> You are the last born. Yes. And your father is the last born. Yes. Your father is the last born. So the marine, marine spirit that he had, he had to pass it to the last born of his last born. That is you. That's why you can't stay three weeks in a relationship. Is that correct? Very true. Okay. She seems to have all the answers. Why is she here? She, she, she knows all of this. She knows all of this stuff. She doesn't need to come to this church and have this preacher say, or this pastor say all of this stuff to her. Why is she here? Because she's saying yes to all of these things as if she knew it already. Maybe, you know what I'm going to assume? I'm going to assume that these two people knew each other before this. Yeah, I think it's safe to assume that these people knew each other before this. And they set this whole thing up. That you're going to have bright colored hair you tell me everything or i'll just make something up about your family tree and then uh, we go and tell these people that this is what happened when in fact that this is actually a setup and we know about this to make these people believe in me i told you do you do you have god on speed dial do you have jesus on speed dial who told you this why do you know this information and why am i just supposed to take your word for it you're just the guy that i go to like, you know, to, to give me the message of God, not to play God. To your last. We need to break it now. Everybody lift your hands. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. We are breaking it in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are breaking it. Amen. Begin to pray for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. I command you evil. To leave her. Go! Name of Jesus. Is, is that all? Is that, is that it? That was very underwhelming. Um, it's videos like this that make me so sad for black people. This is what we believe. And... Yeah. How, how, how are you still believing in stuff like this? How? Why are we allowing just a regular person to just do whatever? How are people like this pastor allowed to go outside? This should be legal. They should be. They should be behind bars. Just don't go outside. Just stay indoors, and just just don't infect people with what you have to say because you're clearly insane. <clears throat> to be honest, I really don't want to go on a, a, a tangent because this video is already too long. And I don't know what to do anymore because I started off this video as happy-go-lucky Jeff. Now I am this person who is just has his mind blown and his, my brain farts every single week now because, because I'm watching stuff like this. Well, that's it for this week's video. Uh, if you like this video, uh, subscribe, like, share. 
all that, all that, all that stuff, all that good stuff. If you like to tell your friends about it as well, tell them to subscribe. You know, my name is Jeff and I'm out.